What's up guys, it's Brian from Hash for Hub. It's about 10.15 p.m. Eastern Time, February 28th, 2018. Uh, we're going to be talking about Bitcoin, trading video on Bitcoin. Uh, but first, if you guys are new to us, hit that subscribe button, notification bell. we got lots of great information on technical analysis on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. And uh, yeah, also head on over to DTube and Steam it and definitely support us there. Links are down below. Link is also down below for our Facebook trading team. So let's get uh, let's get right into it. Um, lots going on. Lots going on. So when we when we had spoken last, I think we were I think we were somewhere around uh, around this level over here, uh, somewhere around here. And um, the market market has obviously sold off uh, from there, kind of sold sold off, kind of came back a bit, and uh, now it's coming back down. Uh, it touched our four hour um, uh, hidden support line uh, at ten thousand two hundred and forty. That was a line that we had drawn. Uh, that is uh, the this candle right here. The low was uh, ten thousand two hundred and twenty three. Uh, and the candle before it, uh, the low was 10,255. So basically, um, uh, you know, pretty much spot on right there, which also happened to also coincide with the 200 moving average right here, if we could see that coming down. This is on a one hour basis. Uh, so the two of them tended to coincide at the same time where these two candles hit. I thought that was pretty pretty cool to see. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is well, uh, well before we even get into that. So we're going to hold on to this line. We're not going to move this line uh, or make any changes or remove it like we did with a with a with a one hour one until the market uh, decisively kind of goes through it. If it just comes down and touches it and, and moves back up, then we're going to leave it. Okay, we're going to leave it. But the second the move the market breaks down, you know, below it closes below it and the next candle looks as if it's kind of do the, a similar type of thing that's when we go ahead and we and we just delete it because it's no longer it's really no longer valid so um you know we we've been doing a ton of elliott wave you know um analysis you know over the past um i would actually say probably three or four days and there's still a lot to be had um, with what's going on right here, but still, that still the you know the WXY XZ still thing still seems to be the major theme, uh, the same theme we had brought up um, quite some time ago. It still seems to be that uh, the theme right now, um, where this is the latest X. This 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 impulse wave right here is the latest X, and then we may be looking for a Z that comes down here. So in other words, this is the second X. We had a previous smaller X right here. So, you know, had gone through a ton of Elliott Wave analysis, like I said, um, for, for, for quite some time, but even more, more, um, more, uh, um, uh, you know, detailed, uh, getting really drilling down to the lower time levels kind of within the past few days. So um, I, I really do believe that this is, a five wave down. I do believe that the fifth wave um, hasn't finished yet. Uh, there could be a, a good chance that it, it breaks below here. If I go ahead and I zoom in on a closer basis, like on a, this is a 15 minute basis, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, this could be a one, two, three, we'd have a four, and then we would have a five. Obviously, five waves down in, in that single fifth wave over here of this larger one, two, three, four, five, um, uh, uh, you know, wave. So, um, you know, that's really what that's really kind of you know what I'm what I'm looking for. Uh, there's a good chance that this could be a you know a curtailed uh, fifth wave instead of it you know being down here. It's staying up here somewhere. The likelihood likelihood of that is 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 obviously much lower. I'm thinking that possibly in the event that we do break below this, 
that we could get, at least for this wave here, this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we could get to this level somewhere around 10,100. And that's just based, basically done with a Fibonacci uh, extension tool. Okay? That's pr pretty straightforward to do. I mean, I'll do it right here, but... Excuse me. I am tired. Long day. Um, so, yeah. So somewhere, so somewhere around here, um, I'm thinking, you know, the the, the, the Fibonacci. Um, actually, let me zoom in here. Let me get this a little bit closer. No, it's pretty accurate. All right, yeah. So that that, that that's pretty pretty accurate. So. Um, yeah, somewhere around this 1.618 territories is kind of what I'm thinking that we could possibly get down to. If that if 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 that were the case, where we where we break below this 10,240, or you know it could just be a, a slight pierce through because this 10,240 seems to be a pretty pretty hard uh, resistance level and. Um, yeah, it may not be something that because uh, th there's really not a, conv a lot of conviction one way or the other, and that's kind of that's kind of the, the the you know the things that make the thing that makes kind of you rip your hair out with uh, with corrections uh, is that you really do need you you do need patience, and um, that's exactly what this is telling us here is that you know you need patience you know in particular at this point here there really aren't there really isn't a lot of trade setups. Um, I don't really go into trade setups really much much at all, um, but obviously in the future I will have to start talking more and more about that, um, how we how we specifically look at trade setups. But you know we're kind of in this no man's land right now of uh, of trade setups, which which really happens. And there's nothing wrong with going ahead and just you know staying out of the market. There's really nothing wrong with staying out with it at, at all. Um, so. Uh, yeah, let's look at things on a on a high, higher time basis. Um, let's look at a four hour basis. So let's zoom in here. Okay, so yeah, I mean, not really much, not really much else to say here on a four hour basis. Yeah, we did mark the Z down here um, at nine thousand. Uh, about let's call it about nine thousand four hundred. It could be up here. It could be right here. I mean, it could be a lot of a lot, a lot of different places. Um, but I just have it down here because it just seems to make it seems to make sense. It seems to seems to look right. So uh, that's you know that's that's kind of where I have it have it down here. Um, let's take a look at things on a six hour basis. Six hour basis, you know, similar to what we were saying earlier earlier today with a great you know with a gravestone. Uh, candle formation. We also have this tweezer top right here. We're all indicating that the market should be going down. So if we move back to um, oh, nothing. Another thing here. Sorry, on a six-hour basis, yeah, uh, a Laguerre RSA, a Laguerre RSI wants to go ahead and and turn down. Okay, on a four-hour basis. What we're thinking is also this a similar a similar type thing where the Laguerre RSA is pointing down. Okay, this last candle here, green candle here, tend to have slowed that progress. Right, it even turned the RSI, the regular RSI, kind of heading up a bit. So, um, interesting to see what's going to happen. I don't think that this is over. Again, if I just if I zoom in here. It seems as if there should be there should be a fifth wave, you know, coming down of the smaller one, two, three, four, five of the fifth wave. It just seems that that's what that's what should happen uh, on a one hour basis. You know, we are a, a little bit, you know, a little bullish. Um, you know, the the uh, you know Laguerre RSI is is has has bottomed out, and it previously it doesn't look it has it didn't really kind of make a run up to the top here so possibly you know this may be may, may be a chance where it kind of runs up to the top again um you know if if that were to happen um i don't really think it's going to turn it's going to um really change all too much about this one two three four five uh let's zoom in again um 
No, not really. You really, really wouldn't. I mean, I'd have to zoom in even more to kind of see, you know, what this whole thing looks like. But, you know, right now I'm not really too worried about it. I'm not really trading it um, exactly. I, I'm not really on a very, I'm not in a short term trade where this really would make much of a difference right now. So, um, yeah, we're going to leave it there for right now. Um, not really much, too much else to say without really extending this video much, much longer. Um, and quite honestly, right now, I really don't, <laughs> I really don't have the energy. I'm so, I'm so very, very tired. Um, and I wanted to get, I wanted to get this video out to you guys. And anyway, my analysis would really wouldn't change um, based on uh, you know everything that uh, you know th th that that kind of comes before this and and the way I'm counting it, which is very similar to the way I'm counting it. I was counting it before, and it really really no major difference. Anyway, talk to you guys soon. Have a great night and happy trading.